everyone in the world should have to watch this movie. It shouldn't have to be paid for on uh, Showtime. So, uh, Amazon, why don't you get a hold of this film and put it on the front of Amazon so every person in the world has to watch it. And then you'll understand why <clears throat> the light caused the United States, the former USA, and the light calls it the USSA. Because of the truth in this film is what the truth is, why RFK Jr. needs to be the next president and why so many people hate his guts because he's saying what his uncle said and his father said, the truth about the USSA. But they wanted to make it the USA, not the USSA. And so the real people who run the USSA, what do they do? They're in control and they, with their guns, guns and their bombs. But none of them ever knew that their real God was gonna come here like never before to settle the one only God Almighty score. And so now we know why the light loves the Kennedy so much because everything they ever tried to do is everything the light is down here demanding in commanding. And so, um, all you ugly, smugly, fugly, despicable media and who lie and twist the words of RFK Jr. And same with you, uh, what are you, the, the uh, I forgot the name of that media on YouTube. But anyways, um, All the people who lie about and twist the words of RFK, it's it's Junior. It's obvious that uh, a person who spends their whole life fighting corruption, literally in the court system fighting corruption, how could any person have one bad thing to say about that person, not a person? You can't quarrel with a moral, and you can't quarrel with scientific evidence of a human being that chose to fight corruption his whole life in the court system. How can anybody hate that guy and, and pretend that that guy's evil and mean when he wants his, everything to be honest? So, um, shit, I can't remember the name of that. Th those people who, they have like a news thing on, uh, they call, oh, the Young Turks. Or are they the young jerks? Or are they the old jerks now? Or the old Turks? Or do they need to watch this movie and realize how great RFK is instead of publicizing the lies about him? Public colleges in the South. George Wallace made it clear that this fight was not over. And, and the, the South this year, next year, will decide who the next president is. Whoever the South votes for will be the president. And you're going to see that the South is going to be against some folks. That night, Kennedy addressed the nation in what many consider the finest presidential speech on civil rights since Abraham Lincoln. And that the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. If an American, because his skin is dark, cannot enjoy the full and free life which all of us want, then who among us would be content to have the color of his skin changed? One hundred years of delay have passed since President Lincoln freed the slaves, yet their heirs, their grandsons, are not fully free. And this nation, for all its hopes and all its boasts, will not be fully free until all its citizens are free. In other words, should, shouldn't God be free? In other words, there's a black ball list on the one and only all moral, all scientific evidence, all common sense God, and who is not 1.0000 and forever is 1% me, Peter. The one only leader goes into me and I'm not free either. In other words, I, I wouldn't even get hired at fucking McDonald's or anywhere, I, not that I want to anyway. But the bottom line is, uh, we're not free, but at least dark tan people are finally free. And that was all because of insane jealousy. We face, therefore, a moral crisis as a country and a people. And 
this is a matter which concerns this country and what it stands for. And in meeting it, I ask the support of all of our citizens. Thank you very much. So don't we deserve to be free? Like, why would God, why would human beings not want God to be known down here? And, 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 and God is demanding all war, bombs, guns, killing against world law. Does that sound A, more than any goddess, or B, more than any devilish? In other words, is it every you know, all moral person's wish list that war be against world law? And all pollutions, including plastic bags and plastic bottles, against world law, is that more than any goddess or more than any devilish? Is that more than any all moral person's wish list? And lie detector tests in every courtroom. And so imagine, um, all these corrupt people that this great movie talks about, all the, you know, the war sin con mission. And that, that guy, Alan Dulles, what a fucking piece of shit that guy is. And so all these disgusted, uh, Gerald Ford, part of that con mission, and he became a president, someone who, who, who hid the true facts about the, um, the way uh, JFK was so-called killed. Because now we know the great news is the Kennedys got the biggest last laugh from me in the light and the American Indians and all the Africans who were placed on ships in their own shit and piss and stacked like potato chips in the name of a man named Jesus. And so... So everybody understands why the light is demanding lie detector tests in every courtroom, because no one could beat a lie detector. And two, if the government all has to take lie detector tests, and the FBI and the CIA and all the police and the judges and the fudges and the attorneys, the Murney and Bernie, and the prosecutors, the executors, then it's going to be pretty hard to be corrupt anywhere in the world because the light wants the lie detector test in every courtroom. And anybody could feel free who says they don't, they're not, you, you could fool one. So then get on there and everyone will know your name, show your ID, and then say your fake name and see if you could fool the lie detector to prove that you, you know, those people who say lie detector tests are not accurate. What's not accurate is eyewitnesses because a liar could say that he saw something and he didn't see it. So that would be, you know, what percent of people will lie? In other words, how many people lie about God here with scientific evidence? In other words, they see God walking in humanly impossible, blatant, 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 obvious, humanly impossible, blindfolded and blindfolded and blindfolded, like a person who could see. And someone watches that and will say um, some crass ass lie about it. And so how disgusting is that person? So imagine if, if someone who's willing and cognitively lies about God here with scientific evidence, putting real-time black bags under people's eyes and moving human skin and turning it on and off like a light switch. So anyone who would fucking lie about God down here, can you imagine if that person is a jury? Can you imagine if that person was a juror and you were up for murder and you weren't even close to the murder? And imagine you had liars, human beings on a, a jury that have the audacity to lie about the one and all, all more, all blatant, obvious scientific evidence, God almighty. And so anyways, everyone in the world should have to watch this movie. I don't even know the name of it. It's something like JFK, uh, you know, reestablished the story of the evidence or whatever. Anyway, I'll put it in the bidoobity in the blog.